I went through a difficult period in my career a few years ago. I felt very unsatisfied with my work and the direction my career was taking. Okay naman ang trabaho ko. Wala naman problema sa sweldo. But somehow, I felt like what I was doing at work did not fit me. It felt like it was not what I was meant to do. At hindi naman dahil palpak ako sa trabaho, I actually acquired very technical skills and and was really good in my job. I was performing quite well, uh, but I was tired all the time. My passions lay elsewhere, and somehow I felt like every hour I spent at work was an hour spent away from what I was supposed to do. Over time, the feeling just grew worse, and at a certain point, I felt I had to make a major decision. After more than a year of prayer and seeking God's will, I made a shift in career, and I thank God that my career change went well. I believe most people who have been pursuing a career would, at some time or another, reach a crisis point. You may be dissatisfied with your work conditions. You feel you're not paid enough. You may not be given enough challenging work by your superiors, or the excellent work you're doing is not given due recognition. You may be working too hard. You have too many responsibilities and are not given enough resources to do your job well, and you're very stressed out. You feel that your career has stalled and you have to exert more effort than usual to advance in your career. And as you climb up the ladder and you look on up, you may not really like what you see waiting for you at the top. You get this sense of dread like being punched in the gut as you realize that you may have climbed the wrong ladder and you're stuck in the middle. Should you or should you not make a career change? Should you continue to climb up the ladder? Can you afford to climb down and look for another one? What if you pick another wrong one? And just how are we supposed to make a career decision? I think when you reach crisis point, you need to take a step back and ask yourself what it is that you're really seeking in life. What is it that you want to accomplish or achieve through your career? To be top dog? Uh, to have more money than you can count? To have your name mentioned in the top online publications? To build a corporate empire? I mean, is that what you really want? Or gusto mo happy lang? Well, the Bible can provide sound advice. And surprisingly, it tells us that when you reach a career crisis, to just chill, uh, even just a bit, and to look at things from a totally different perspective. King Solomon, one of the wisest men who ever lived, has this thing to say about the work of your hands. He said, Enjoy life with the wife whom you love all the days of your vain life that he has given you under the sun, because that is your portion in life and in your toil at which you toil under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. This is a surprising statement. According to Solomon, in the bigger scheme of things, a career change for personal goals may not really matter much. If all you want is to satisfy your personal ambition or desires, or if you want to find your place in the sun, so to speak, they are all pointless. A chasing after the wind, as King Solomon would say. Whatever work you find, do it with all your might. But a career change in light of what you are called to do by God, a career decision to bring you closer to God's will for your life, this is a worthy move. So if you're not satisfied with your job and you're anxious about how your career is moving, take a step back, chill a bit, and take stock of the good things you already have. Thank God for them. Then come to God in prayer and ask him, not what you want to happen with your career, but instead 
Ask Him what He wants you to pursue as a calling, the work that will bring life to your career. Remember, even as you consider a career change to the work that God has called you to do, faith matters too.